like this cool patch of ice. It's all like crystallized. You can see little strands. Lace. I don't know how I missed that on the way up. Well, I think this trail looks familiar. The last trail I filmed, that's because it is the same trail. I'm back on three ponds. It's been a few weeks. I have been hiking since then. I went with a friend the other week to Bearbrook State Park, but I didn't film anything, so this is just the next film video. <coughs> But yeah, I managed to get through Little Bear Trail and Big Bear Trail at Bear Brook State Park. It's really sticking to the theme there. <coughs> and now I'm familiar with the park at least a little bit, where the parking is and everything. So I'll go back next time um, and do some more trails. But I am back today on three ponds. Yep, this should definitely look familiar because I stopped and filmed this last time. Um, and I am doing Mount Car. Or Car Mountain. Mount Car. I'm not... I think it's Car. Car Mountain. Yep, heading that way. It probably would have been shorter for me to go park at the other end of the trail versus doing this three ponds bit again because it adds half a mile or two miles it adds a mile to the trip overall but the trail book goes this way and it's easier to find follow along when I'm going the same direction as the trail guide so I decided to add the extra mile I haven't been hiking much so, I could use the exercise. It is rain last night, so the trail is a little bit muddy, but it's also below freezing right now, so it's also a little crunchy. All right, so there's where the trail branches off to go to Car Mountain. But there's a stream just a little bit up ahead there, a quarter mile. And at high water, the book recommends going further up Tripon using that bridge because it has a bridge across the stream and then using a trail road that comes back down. So that's actually what I'm going to do um, because it adds about 0.8 miles to the trail. I know I'm not going to want to do it on the way back, so I better do it now while I'm still fresh. Because on the way back, I'll just want to go right straight through and cross the pond, so we'll go this way this time. Alright, so there's Three Ponds Trail. So there's the bridge, I just crossed Sucker Brook. And Three Ponds Trail heads over to my left here. But I'm going to take this old logging road, I think it said it was, this way to find Car Mountain Trail. Now, as we saw earlier, Car Mountain Trail, here's the stream. <coughs> Car Mountain Trail is very narrow. I mean, the book, the guide says it's just a footpath with minimal blazes, so it's a little hard to find, which makes me nervous about coming at it from this direction. So I'm going to have to keep my eyes peeled for where the trail crosses 
this trail because I might not notice that it's a trail at all. So keep my eyes open when I get a little closer. Well, it appears the bridge across this little stream has washed downstream <laughs> and is no longer usable. So I gotta find a way across. Just to I think I can get across up there. Alright, I'm practically on top of the trail, so I should see it at any point here. Oh, that sun! Here we go. The sun's been shining in my eyes. And this has been a very hard trail. Because it is very wet. And the leaves cover everything. So it hides the fact that underneath all those leaves it is six to eight inches of mud and water. So you step down thinking it's gonna be a solid footing and it is not even close. So it might be a reroute around the stream crossing. But I assure you, you do not come out of this with dry feet, unfortunately. Yep, so that's the same stream I just videoed. I crossed it, went a little bit further, realized I'd gone too far. So when I was videoing that stream, this was my trail. <laughs> so I was practically standing on top of it for my video. Oh yeah, look, there's the, there's the blaze. All right. We found it, and now we are on the actual Car Mountain Trail. Hiking in a stream. In the snow. Walking through a stream again. Last stream walking this trail. and trying to film and I got my feet wet at the same time but it was just such a pretty area I wanted to catch it very nice sun's out it's my fairy tale forest just one in every video I'm getting a little tired of walking through these streams. I'm like hugging the side of snow, snowy paths to try to avoid stepping in the water. Hopefully though, it'll clear up up ahead. What is trail I've done so far, to be sure? Well, I'm almost to the summit. And I am still walking through streams. And then at some point, when we get close here, at least these streams, some of these are covered, so this is 
This is not very nice here. So that's excellent. At some point in the next point one mile, there's going to be a spur trail that leads off to the left to the actual summit. So I'm going to be on the lookout for that. I'm hoping it's obvious. Here. Well, I went like 20 feet and I found it. So there's actually a sign right there. So that's where it points down to keep going. But this trail right here leads to a summit with a view. So let's go take a look. Well, it's still a partial view. I thought it would just be like limited. You could only see like a certain percentage. But I mean, these trees go all the way around. So maybe if you're taller, you can actually see something. But I legit cannot see anything. Lock right there. Just peeking through those trees. I'm gonna try climbing. There's some rocks over there, and then you've got the stairs here. So let me try that. See if I get a better view. Uh, yes, much better view. Moose log there. Some other mountains in the background there. These guys over here. I thought if I climbed this rock, I could see over all the trees, but <laughs> it's straight up and covered in snow, so I don't see any way onto it safely. Bummer. Oh, I'm on top of another little rock. Well, my original plan was to keep going, go all the way down to the bottom of the car on the other side, and then come back up and get all the way back down again, um, back to my car. But I'm feeling like I've had the hike I want today. Um, I still got gas in the tank, but honestly, I think if I kept going, I would tire out and really hate this trail. So I think I'm going to end it now. I'm just going to well, not end it, because I still got to get down. But I'm going to go back down the way I came, and we'll do the other half of the mountain another time. Yeah, man, I'm glad I made the decision to turn around and just come down, because look at this trail. It's just water the entire way, and already I'm just so annoyed by it that if I were tired and having to navigate this just really wet, wet trail, I would be so miserable, so get it now while I'm still in a reasonably good mood and not exhausted because it is this is hard going and I am not enjoying it at all well I'm finally below sort of the snow line and I'm glad I'm glad to be heading back because I'm gonna be honest with you I've fallen three times I mean three like bum on the ground fallen and twice was in the snow and the third time was just because of the mud. It's, I mean, look at this, look at this, it's completely soaking wet here. Oh gosh. I know, like every single video I've done so far has been, I love this trail, I love this, I love this. So this is a refreshing change, I can tell you, that I in fact do not love every trail I do. I do not love this one. I don't like it at all. In fact, is it better at different times of year? Maybe. Maybe it's just the whole, you know, freezing and thawing, freezing and thawing sort of at early winter, similar to the way it's really bad in early spring. But this is just, look at, I mean, this whole trail is just water. My feet have been wet, keep getting wet. Keep stepping on places that it look like dry, it's just leaves and then you, yeah, see here. You can see someone stepped and sunk deep into mud, thinking probably these were just leaves, but underneath the leaves, 
this water. So, yes, I do not like this trail, and I am going to be glad to be done with it. It is a no for me, dog. Alright, so this is the water crossing that I avoided by going up earlier and across the bridge. So, I can see why I might recommend that other route. Because I don't think I'm going to make it across this with my feet dry. But that's okay, because as we have discovered, this entire trail must be have not been dry for more than two seconds before I stepped into another puddle or a muddy spot. So, and at this point, I'm only half a mile from the car. So, stopping wet feet are fine because I'm nearly to the end. Well, here I am, the end of the Car Mountain Trail, and I'm back out onto the just as muddy Three Ponds Trail. <laughs> That's all right. I walked right into that stream, so. My feet and shoes are full of water, so at this point, I don't care if I step in mud or puddles. I just want to get back to the car. Or have dry clothes and dry shoes and dry socks. Woohoo! And be glad I'm done with this trail. Oh, I just dropped my foot. Because I tell you what, this is one, not one. I hear what I have to do again. And if I do it again, I'm going to make sure I go at the absolute driest time of year. Maybe the dead of summer or something.